hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i am going to show you about the hawkmat hk 400 surge pump it is budget friendly and also easy to use also user friendly so this is the sensor like this lock just press and uh, we can move so this is the power cord 230 volt direct power supply and also back side the clamp available this is used for fixing in the iv stand so this is the front side display and also the buttons navigation buttons and all buttons this is having battery backup also just we need to press long press then machine will switch on now the beginning it will come the rate mode if we need to change the rate mode just press the back button then the different modes will come rate time wait uh, which one we want to select just press the numbers uh, if one rate mode second like that which mode we need to select just press that number button up to 6 modes available so which mode we need just press and then if need to uh, edit the uh, rate then again need to press the number button then we can easily edit we need to go back side just need to press the return back button so now it's in battery backup so it's it will show you it's under battery backup if we switch on it will automatically come with rate mode normally we are using in the rate mode so like this we can edit the values if we need we uh, we need to see the volume induced uh, if uh, we need to uh, so if we need to may uh, give only 20 ml if we select 30 ml and we need to give only 20 ml we can select that one also then after uh, after uh, giving the patient 20 ml the machine will stop and the remaining 10 ml uh, will be inside the syringe pump like this we need to move the sensor having two sensors one sensor there and another one lock now we fix the syringe pump now uh, this one having another facility it automatically detect the syringe size after fixing the rate just need to press the start button then the amount will go to the patient directly if need to stop stop button also available just need to press the stop button here i select the volume to be in this uh, 5 ml that's why showing the time also if i didn't select that uh, volume to be induced then uh, the time will not be show will not be there in the display now the syringe size automatically it will detect and it show just post need to just press the stop button now show now all the details volume how much go to patient it will show there we need to end just press the button 3 then end the injection now i select the volume to be induced uh, zero now again i start the uh, process now see the volume to be induced it's zero and the time will not be there so like this easy to use if we need to go back just come back now we can select any mode which we want six modes available no switch off just a long press thank you guys for watching my video like share and subscribe